Well, we're hearing some fresh arguments tonight in the debate over what critics call the wussification of America. Feminist Camille Paglia getting attention for an essay arguing there's no room for anything manly in today's society. She's not happy about it. Our power panel's <laughs> back now to weigh in. She, she is sort of a feminist, but sort of a different strain of feminist. Yeah. Right. And she is ticked off about this, saying that preschool, primary school education is a crock. She says it's, uh, it's oppressive to boys, anybody with physical energy. She says there's no strong male, masculine role models anymore, and that we're wussifying an entire generation of boys. I was just at a seven-year-old's uh, birthday party at Laser Kingdom, and none of those boys seemed wussy to me. <laughs> they were chasing me down with their well. laser guns for an hour. And they're and they're yeah. I mean, really. What are you trying to say, Megan? <laughs> Anyone anyway, you know, will chase you down I mean, with a laser. Yeah, you know, if I, you look I, around the room and you cannot find the wuss. Hey, 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 hey. I'm the one guy here who knows what it means to be a man in the 21st century. Century. So. And it is Luke. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. <laughs> Look at him. I, I think this is absolutely ridiculous. I have a son. He's 21 years old. He plays varsity sports all the way through since he was like, you know, could barely pick up a baseball bat and was started beating people up with. He was making guns out of sticks and you know all of that kind of stuff. That's because his mother is a former federal prosecutor. So you got paid to kick but butt I, and I take think, names. Look, I think Camille Paglia is just trying to get some attention, like she's done her entire career. No, there's career. like this series, I guess. It, I, I think, is it? Time. She didn't uh, time last month. Right, because another w w writer, Hannah Rosen, came out with a piece beforehand that said men are obsolete because they're <laughs> failing in the workplace, because the traditional household is vanishing, and because they now are obsessed with their body hair the same way women are. <laughs> um, Let's ask Chris. Chris. Do you want me to open my shirt? Now? No, I don't no, know no, if we're, we're covered no. for that. We've, we've got the full picture up here. <laughs> look, look, look. The I have with Camille hey. I think she makes some very good points, and I think she made really good points in the Wall Street Journal about kind of what the women's movement is in America today and that maybe they should be focusing on more serious issues. I mean, you think of what we term a war on women here and it's contraception rights and if taxpayers should be paying right. for it. And you have people in India who are facing systemic misogyny and that's kind of a real war on women. So we kind of have it as a misnomer. But she's talking here. about what we're doing to little boys, about how yes. they, they have physical right. energy and, My, and they need to run, right. they need to play and but instead we're like, we're more sit down and go to math camp. That seems you know what? criticism it, on a you know school what? system. I, 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 played, I played football in high school and college and, you know, if we were 0-6 we had 5,000 people in, in the stands but the women's field hockey team, which was under Defeated forever at my high school. Never had anybody go to the games except for the kids' parents. Why is so it? That I don't know, true. but that's, that's still, still the case true. today. That is your point. Absolutely. Well, my point is, is that men are celebrated in this society for their achievements far more than women it's are. And as a father, in as a father sports. of daughters, sports, sports, you know, true. I want to see my daughter celebrated as well. But, but she, she's making the point that boys can't say anything. You can't, say, you know, like you, you, the boy who kissed the girl on the hand. That's sexual harassment. No. And so we're sort of boxing these children in and, and these boys into thinking I can't do anything. I can't say anything. Total <laughs> evidence that she's pointing to. She's not. Point to anything systemic. All right, I got to move on. I got to move on because apparently these guys are not wusses. I haven't seen the, the movie yet, but no. Leonardo DiCaprio's new movie, Ooh. Wolf of Wall Street, apparently drops the most movie f bombs. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, boy. Of any movie in a docu, of, of any movie, 506 times every 60 seconds of the 180 minute That's film. Great. Here's a here's a peak, a, 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 an okay one. <laughs> 22 million. The real question is this, was all this legal? Wow. <laughs> Absolutely not. So this movie's getting all sorts of buzz for the yeah, profanity, yeah. for allegedly glorifying a bad guy. I don't want to give away the story, but for allegedly glorifying a bad guy. And in the end, what? It's just free publicity? Because uh, we're talking about it, absolutely. absolutely. But look at the Yahoo review. Uh, that what they said was, look, all these F-bombs, nobody is really paying attention to them because the other stuff that's going on is so much more crazy debauchery. than that. Debauchery. <laughs> Debauchery, debauchery. Uh, is that new? It. I, I mean, it's Scorsese, it. right? I haven't it's seen like, it, but a friend exactly. of mine who did told me if you bring your wife to see it, she's going to leave you. So don't bring her to see oh, it. Oh, really? That's what I was told. Oh, wow. <laughs> that like, that oh. is very serious. That's uncomfortable. <laughs> I was told it's, it's like a soft core porn. Oh, no. And, uh, yeah, you know, so I don't no. know where I'm going to see it, who I'm going to see it with, but. This reminds me of the time. Of course, I'll probably watch it. I was practicing law, and we were trying to case out in Iowa, and some of the junior lawyers and I went to see the movie Unfaithful together. You know, remember that one? Oh, yeah, of course. Yes. Richard Gear, and I was sitting in the middle, and these two guys were flanking me on the left and the right. And I'm telling you, in some of those scenes, <laughs> yeah.
You did not make eye contact. Yeah. You did not touch your popcorn. You're drinking your coke. You just pretended nobody else was in that room. Well, it's like lead close and fatal attraction, the same kind of thing. Right? Yes. You would just be like nervous with anyone. I don't know. I think that. they do. You know, it's, it's a surprising nice. coming from Martin Scorsese. You know, like, I, know. I mean, it is a lot of cuts. What you think about? I'm a huge rap. Rap music fan, Thank which you. you can obviously tell by looking at me. Yeah, yeah he listener. definitely looked like I mean, a really right. like, dad. I'm totally back yeah. in the last couple years. But I used to be, and Little Wayne uses like at least 23 a minute. But I do think if you were listening to that and you heard a cuss word every minute and for two hours, I just think that would it would become it a well, Now know, let me tell you, if you would like to see how Wall Street really works, <laughs> and you don't want debauchery, well, there is some debauchery, but you don't want f bombs. No. Look at this. Who My wrote husband, that? Was <laughs> <laughs> Number one, it was a New York Times bestseller as well. So. We'll talk more about that on the opposite side of the break. <laughs> Thanks, panel. Thank you. You got it.